Hey, this is Aaron from Cisco Defense Orchestrator. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how to onboard a Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense device into this Cisco Defense Orchestrator cloud-delivered FMC or Firewall Management Center. Now, what low-touch provisioning means is that I'm going to take this device, uh, which happens to be a, a Firepower 1010 uh, appliance, I'm going to take it right out of the box. I'm not going to configure anything on it. I'm just going to plug the outside interface into an internet connection. Uh, it's going to obtain an address via DHCP, and then it's going to make an outbound call to Cisco Defense Orchestrator, where we will have pre-configured CDO uh, with the serial number of this device. Um, and so it's going to be a fully automatic experience to where the device gets onboarded to Cisco Defense Orchestrator, added to the cloud-delivered FMC and the default uh, security policy applied to it without configuring anything on the device. So imagine you have a branch office and you're gonna ship this device out to that branch office uh, and you're gonna have an unskilled person just plug that into the internet connection, whether that's a cable modem uh, or whatever it is that you may have there on, on premises for an internet connection. It only needs outbound connectivity uh, and it's just gonna work. So let's uh, let's see what the prerequisites to make this happen are. Uh, number one, you're gonna need a CDO account, a Cisco Defense Orchestrator account. If you'd like a trial account, take a look at the description below and you'll see the link to where you can obtain a, a free trial account uh, to try Cisco Defense Orchestrator and Cloud Delivered FMC out. Um, you're also gonna need a Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center. And again, that's uh, delivered via Cisco Defense Orchestrator. Um, your device will need to be on at least version 7.2 um, or above. And so those are the requirements because uh, those operating systems now contain all the components to talk to a cloud-delivered FMC. Earlier versions of code do not have those features. Uh, and then finally, of course, you're going to need that internet connection. And again, this is going to be an outbound connection only. Um, you don't have to worry about building any kind of inbound connection into your device. The first thing we need to do, uh, and it doesn't really matter which order you do this because your, your device will keep trying to reach out and talk to CDO. So you can plug it in first and then go configure CDO, or you can configure CDO and then plug your device in. Uh, we're going to go to the inventory. We're gonna click the little blue plus button and we are gonna click on FTD and we're gonna use the serial number onboarding method. Uh, and then you're gonna take the serial number right off of the device. Uh, being sure that you get that serial number exactly correct. Uh, and then since I've never logged into the device, I've never set uh, the default administrator password. So part of our onboarding process will be to go ahead and, and give it the new password that it's going to uh, assign to the device once we've brought that device online. Um, so that's going to all happen automatically. There's no need to connect to the console. There's no need to log into anything. This will all happen uh, via CDO's low touch provisioning. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to tell it which of the access policies that are on my cloud-delivered FMC that I'd like to assign to this device. Uh, I'm going to pick this one here called Edge Firewall. And then I'm going to tell it what licensing that I want to turn on. So uh, the smart licensing from the cloud-delivered FMC still is responsible for doling out licenses to the device. And then finally, I'm just going to hit Next um, and go to Inventory. Now, what's going to happen is that serial number is now locked to this Cisco Defense Orchestrator tenancy. And so this tenant now owns that serial number. And so when that serial number, uh, in this case, my Firepower 1010, reaches out to CDO to try to associate itself, it's going to present its serial number and say, here's my serial number. I would like to associate with a tenant that has that serial number uh, associated with it. Uh, and what's gonna happen is after a period of time, uh, it's gonna come online, meaning this association has now been found, uh, and then it's going to attempt to configure the device for you. Uh, so this does take a little bit of time. It usually takes about 20 minutes from the time I plug the device in with the serial number uh, until the time that it's complete. Um, if you're curious as to what's happening, and you're like me, you're impatient, and you want to know what's happening during that 20 minutes as you watch the, the kettle boil, as it were, right? Um, there is this little uh, option for you over here. It's kind of an advanced thing, but on the right-hand side, when you select the device, there's a uh, menu item called Workflows. Workflows will actually show you the individual orchestration pieces that are happening on the back end, if you're curious. Um, and so you can kind of see what's happening during the process of, of the actual onboarding. 
Um, so that's just a little bit of an advanced tip. If you're really curious about what's happening and, and what state things are in, you can certainly go explore that and certainly not necessary that you understand all the moving parts there. So what's going to happen is after a period of time, uh, eventually you're going to see that the device is now being provisioned and then you'll see that it's syncing the device. So what's happened in the meantime is that CDO has reached out to the device, configured that password that we set, and then it built that SF tunnel between the FTD and the cloud delivered FMC. And once that SF tunnel was up and built, it's now going to deploy that initial policy, that default policy that we said that we wanted to apply to it. And so once that's finished, the device is now online and ready to be managed fully by cloud delivered FMC. Now you can go in and start configuring interfaces, changing your policy, setting up NATs, setting up your intrusion policies, anything that you want to do, you can now begin configuring the device. Again, we didn't have to have anybody on site plug into this thing and configure anything by hand. This was all done simply by plugging in port one to the public internet connection. And again, that's called low touch provisioning.